Hello fellow beaders. Today's tutorial is about prismatic right angle weave. So I am going to show you how to work this. This is what is called as a prismatic right angle weave stitch. Now this is similar to cubic right angle weave stitch. So this is cubic right angle weave stitch where I have already uh, put up a video uh, tutorial for making this. Uh, cubic right angle weave. So, I have made a tutorial with very large beads for convenience of um, beaders who for whom this uh, using larger beads uh, is, is uh, visually um, easy for them to follow uh, and especially uh, for me uh, when I have to watch some videos for beading I always prefer if the beads are a little larger in size uh, to for the demo purposes of course and see this is the uh, cubic right angle weave made with size 8 beads. So, you see the difference in the sizes. So, if I make a, a demo video or a tutorial using this size beads, uh, one, it is difficult <laughs> for me to hold them, uh, you know, for a video uh, shoot uh, to hold them between my fingers. My fingers are already, uh, you know, thick and holding them and working and showing you the stitch properly is not uh, very convenient for me. So, I always prefer using bigger larger beads but for, for your information I am showing you that this is size 8 beads. So, if you are working in size 11 and size 15 they are going to be it is going to be still smaller. So, this is cubic right angle weave. Now, today's tutorial is for prismatic right angle weave. So, the main difference between cubic right angle weave and prismatic right angle weave is see this one the cubic right angle weave is in a kind of a cube shape. So, you see it is it has got four sides because we started with four beads. So, you see here there are four beads but prismatic right angle weave means using more than four beads but the stitch weaving is the same as this one but the, we are only going to be starting with 5 beads and continuing with 5 beads on all sides. So, that, so what happens is since this is like a cube, this one is cylindrical. See, you see it is cylindrical like this. We start out with 6, uh, sorry, 5 beads in this one. So, if prismatic means, well, let me tell you, having 5 beads or more than 5 beads, it can be 6 or 7 and so on. So, this one is 5 bead for a uh, prismatic right angle weave stitch and for the demo I am going to be using these beads. But this is how the, uh, this is how it will look in size 8 beads and this prismatic right angle weave stitch is made up of 6 beads. See, I started with 6 beads, this one I started with 5 beads. So, this is how they will appear when you are using it, when you are making the stitch. See, these uh, let me also put the let me also put this together. So, this is cubic right angle weave. These two are prismatic right angle weave. This is 5 bead. This is 6 bead. So, the more number of beads your um, cylinder will go is going to be uh, big uh, is going to be thicker of course. Now, the right angle weave, cubic right angle weave, prismatic right angle weave are very useful stitches and kind of um, you know very frequently used stitches also. Um, before going into the tutorial, I am going to show you what is possible with right angle weave. Then they can be you know easily maneuvered. So, before this, see these uh, stitches you know they can easily maneuver them. You can make them into bangles, you can make them into necklaces, you can shape them in many different ways. See, you can even shape them like this. Uh, cute alphabet, yeah. My name is <laughs> uh, this is the first time I am realizing. So, this is S, which is my name. My name is Shoba, and then I uh, made a cute S also. So, this, this just happened, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, and this one uh, is also right angle weave. See what I have made here. Uh, I have made a right angle tube and attached it as a uh, uh, what you call uh, like um, a bezel for this centerpiece. And I am also going to show you some pictures of right angle weave um, chains I have made for various pendants. Please take a look.
moving on let us come to the prismatic right angle weave. So, start, we, we will be starting with 5 beads and like in the cubic right angle weave there will be 4 beads in each um, in each stitch. See these 4 beads 1, 2, 3, 4 makes 1 unit. When I turn it this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. And at the same time as we go up you can again see, see 1, 2, 3, 4 is one is the first row, these 4 makes the second row, third, fourth and fifth. Likewise you will have on all the sides. And if you want to see the smaller version, so this is how it looks. And this is prismatic right angle weave with 6 beads. See here the, there is a lot of possibility here to add uh, so much of embellishments you know in each of this. So that is why this is such a um, you know I like this stitch a lot because uh, you can decorate it uh, you know um, as you fancy in many different ways it can be decorated which I will be later covering as we go along in this series. I am going to show you how to may do the prismatic right angle weave with 5 beads and it will be like a tube. In a prismatic right angle weave there will be 5, be five sides and so for that we are going to start with 5 beads. And I have uh, taken um, quite large beads, this could be 4 mm fauceted beads I have in 2 different Mm, I have chosen grey but only to begin with I am going to be using these 5 because there is a little different in the beginning I want to show you the difference so that is why I am starting with a different colour. And I also have this um, sample right angle weave unit I call this a right angle weave unit. A unit means it is made up of 4 beads which are stitched together at right angles to each other so that is why it is called as a right angle weave. And it is very important to remember that prismatic right angle weave or cubic right angle weave or even flat right angle weave always consists of 4 beads and using these 4 beads is when we build up adding more subsequent uh, 4 or 3 or 2 beads we are going to build our uh, bead work. So, let us begin now and the thread I have taken is uh, quite some cotton thread which easily passes through the holes of these beads and why I chose these bigger beads is because for me visually when I learn something uh, where, where someone is teaching me with bigger beads like this, uh, it's, it is more um, easy for me to understand rather than using size 8 beads or size 11 beads. So, I find this easy to understand. So, that is why I am also uh, trying to um, do this video or the tutorial with bigger beads. So, I will just move this away a little bit here and to begin with I am going to put on these 5 beads onto the onto my So, that is 2, this is 3, 4 and 5. So, to begin with we will add 5 beads, bring it down, leave a little tail and bring it down because this is a tutorial you know you can just you can even just leave a little very little bit of tail and now I am going to knot it up. Okay, see looks like a flower. Okay, I am just going to knot it up so that uh, it stays tight and secure for the rest of the bead work. And after I do that, I am just going to pass my needle into the next bead in preparation for making the prismatic right angle weave. So, if you have already watched my video for the cubic right angle weave, uh, you will know. Um, so, I, I, um, no, I actually suggest that you watch the cubic right angle weave video first before you attempt prismatic right angle weave. So, here um, like I have already explained in the in, in this video, uh, here what we are going to do is we are going to build more units of right angle weave on top of these. Okay, So, it will grow upwards like this. So, another unit of right angle weave is going to come up is going to come on top of it like this. It is going to be 
like this one unit will be here another unit will come here another unit like this and on all five of them we will have units like this we are going to weave or build units like this on top of each other so for the first one you see we have to though it is prismatic right angle weave and we have started with five beads so that is not what matters here what matters is in each from each bead only a right angle weave can be formed that means it should consist of only four beads so on this a four bead curve um, on this there should be a right angle weave so here what we should understand is so to build this one you know we have to build something like this okay so to build this so we can as we should assume that we need four beads no but we don't need four beads because we are going to be sharing one of this bead from the base so if i just add only three beads and including this bead it will become four so that is what we are going to do now so i am going to pick up um, three beads from my gray color okay and i'll bring it down to show you the thread path so when i bring down these three and see when i put them together along with the one in the base you can see i have made a right angle weave unit so this is one two three four so these four beads together form a right angle unit so i have added three in this step so now how to finish this to finish this you know a right angle weave should appear like this so my best choice is or the only choice i can say is to pass my needle into this bead and when i pull it tight you see one unit is formed which is going to be standing up straight and now i'll have to do the same thing on the base in the uh, in the next bead on uh, in the base here so i am taking my thread to start my next unit now to start my next unit again see i am bringing in my sample our unit has, is going to look like this so there there has to be four beads when you look at it like this but we don't have to add four beads there so if you avoid see if you avoid these two and look at look at this sorry i think uh, i'm going to show it to you like this see if you look at if you add just two beads you will get a right angle weave means see these two beads these two one two three four okay let me just again do it i'm going to put it together like this and show you see if you just add two beads you will get a right angle weave unit okay so instead of adding three in the first round we added three in this second step we are going to just add two beads one and two so i'll bring down the two when i bring down the two beads and if i don't know where i have to pass my needle or where i have to join this i'm just going to bring the thread around like this to show you how it will join it will join like this so these four one two three four are the one new unit that i have made these two were already present i added two beads here so these four became one unit now in order to join this see my thread is here so if i bring down my needle down this a unit will be formed now this unit is done but to finish the stitch i have to go into the base bead once again from where i started and i have completed the second unit now moving on to the third unit my first thing job is to go to the place where i have to add my next unit so this is the third one in the base in the base there were five i have done two 
I have made two units if you can see here one unit and two unit and you see how these are all sharing the beads. So, in the same way in the third unit again it will be a repetition of the second unit. Again if I want if I want to bring in this when I am if I add two beads here a unit will form ok. So, just add one pick up two beads and as we did in the second unit again we are going to pass the needle from the top to the bottom of the adjacent bead. The third unit, this is the third unit, this is from the base, this is shared from the previous one, these two beads I added just now. So, to finish the stitch I will go back into the base once again. So, three units added, one, two and three. Now, moving to the fourth unit. The fourth unit again will be repetition of the previous two. So, to move a little quickly, I am just going ahead with picking up two beads and using the bead from the adjacent unit. That is what we did even earlier. So, I am going to pull this down. When I pull this down, I have got the next unit. So, I am finishing up that stitch. Okay, and now I have come to the last one. This is the last, that is the fifth in the base. So, begin to begin, I have to be in the position to begin my stitch, I have to be on the bead. So, I am on the fifth one now. When you look at this fifth one, it is a little different. See, as you see, when I bring this itself closer, you can see, do not look at these two beads, look at the three beads which are visible for you. So, you see, these three beads form a part of the right angle V. So, if I add just one more bead here, if I add just one more bead here, it will complete the unit. Okay. So, on all times when you are doing the last one in a right angle, in a cubic right angle weave or in a prismatic right angle weave, in the last one there will always be only one bead that you will have to add and you cannot add it here because it is the wrong position to make it into a right angle weave. So, first I will take only my needle and thread up the one on the right side and now I am in a position to add the last bead. See if I pick up only one bead and I join it here, you see it will form a right angle unit. So, I am picking up one bead and I am going to pass it down in the adjacent um, or the one which I am sharing with the previous unit. When I did that, you see a cute nice right angle weave is formed and I am now going to finish up that stitch by passing through the bead that I started with. So, I have added units all around on all the 5. So, this is the base that is why I made it in a different color because I wanted to show the base and the top that is why uh, it is important only for the tutorial I am doing this you can you know it is not in a design you, you should go according to the design. So, when this is done now, now like I told you the prismatic right angle weave will move upwards and we are going to make a rope like this. So, um, if we have the needle coming out from here, uh, it is of no use to us. So, we have to move this needle up to a position where I will be able to start the next round of or the next row of uh, prismatic right angle weave. So, I just brought my needle up one bead. And now here, when you look at the top, you can see 5 beads here. So, these 5 beads is the base for building the next set of right angle weaves. See here, this 5 was the base, on that we did this and now these 5 are is the base. Okay. Now, this base is quite loose if you can see if they are all shaky, they are not joined to each other that is why they are like that. So, one more move that we have to do before we begin adding more units is to join all of these 5 beads together. To join all of these beads together, you can take the needle either right side or to the left side 
okay and pass them through all the five beads to join them together so no don't add any beads just pass your needle through all the five beads so i pass through four of them now this is the fifth one and after five i will again pass through from where i started so that gives it a complete round and it will also be nice and tight if you do that what what i did now was i started from here I pass my needle through all of them and again came back to the same place where I started. So that gives it a nice good fit. See this itself is a beaded bead. Okay, In many places we can use this as a beaded bead. You can embellish it with mo more designs which I will be covering in later episodes. And then this can become a beaded bead for any of our bead projects. So now that we are here. Now we can again start building more right angle units on this like this. See on this, on this, on this and all the five we have to do the same thing. So I am just going to move a little quickly now because you know the, um, the, the you know what how the stitch goes. So to begin with for the first time I am going to be picking up three beads and those three beads along with the bead in the base will become one right angle unit so it becomes one unit and i am going to finish that stitch by passing my needle from the left to the right and i have got one unit now i am moving to the next bead in the base so first time always we, are, we will be picking up three beads from the second time onwards we will be adding only two more beads to make the unit. So I have taken two beads and I am going to share means I am going to use the bead of the previous unit. I am passing my needle from the top to the bottom and when I do this you see I have got another right angle unit and to complete that stitch pass it from where I started, move to the next bead in the base, again here I am going to be adding just two beads, just two beads and pass your needle from the top to the bottom of the previous uh, unit, we are sharing that bead with the bead for, for our next here. So, then complete the stitch by passing through the base again now moving on we are going into the fourth bead in the base again in the fourth bead also we are going to be picking up only two and making the right angle unit finish the stitch by passing it through the base bead once again and now we are in a position to do the last one. So this is the last unit of all, of all the five units that we have to make. In the last unit your thread will be here which is not the right place to add the last bead. So I will have to move my needle one bead up like this. Pick up one bead only now. In the last it is always just one bead pick up one bead which will go here like this so share it with the previous one and we have finished that unit and to finish it further we will go through the base bead once again so here i've added five more I have added 5 units here you can see in the top you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the new 5 units that I have added. Now my next work is to bring this thread up here. So to bring it up I am just going to be need moving my needle up one bead and again I have to join these 5 together to make it a little more uh, sturdy. So, see I am starting from this bead, I am going to be 
passing through all the five and again my thread will be coming out from my needle will be coming out from this unit only when I finish this. So, one, two, three, four and five. So, like I told you my thread again comes back from the where I from the place I started. So, now I have five beads here and on these five beads I can start making my next units. Now, to be uh, to move on quickly, first time always three beads, bring the three beads down, make the first unit. Means, in uh, see from where you started, you are going to go back into the same uh, bead, so that is when you make the first unit. Moving on to the second unit, for the second unit, we need just two beads. And I am going to be passing my needle from the top to the bottom of the adjacent um, uh, unit of right angle weave. I am finishing it by passing through where I started or the base, it is also the base bead. Moving on to the third one in the base, again pick up two more, pass your needle from the top to the bottom. And again, complete the stitch by passing through it's just caught up somewhere, yeah, by passing through the base once again. So completed three now. This is the fourth one. Again, in the fourth one, we are going to be having only two beads and not having, we are adding two beads. Now, this is the last unit. See where you see there are three beads here. I need to add just one more. To add that one more, I am going to pass my needle up here and pick up one bead, go down the adjacent bead, and again from where I started. And now we got the base for the next one, which means I have to bring my needle up here and join all the five before I proceed with the next, adding the next units. So, you see this is prismatic right angle weave, which has five beads. See this one has only four beads which is cubic right angle weave. If you want to see this side or this side, it has only four and this has five. So, this if you have five, if you have five or more than five, it is called as prismatic right angle weave. The stitch pattern is the same but we have more and here because I am using thicker thread and bigger beads, all this thread path is seen. But if you are going to be using smaller beads, this thread path is not going to be seen. So, this is prismatic right angle weave for you. Thank you for watching and also thank you very much for your continued support. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment box. I will be happy to answer them for you. Your subscription, likes and shares are a huge support for me to grow my channel. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Thank you once again. And uh, as you get better with the stitch, it's going to be the moves are going to be even more easier. See, for the first time, after we pick up three beads, so instead of even doing anything else, you can just pick up the three beads, pass uh, your um, pass the needle through the base, and now excuse me, now move to the next one. See, in the next one, as soon as you pick up two beads, bring it down to form the next unit and here instead of making two moves, see you can take your stitch or needle here and you can at the same time pass your needle to the next place where you want to begin your next unit. So, these are um, you know this is what you will be doing once you learn the stitch. So, pick up two beads, pass it from here to the next base bead 
and if you just do that you see your stitch will be ready oh I, I was supposed to pass it through that one excuse me so you see so adding the two beads is correct but the see if you do not uh, take the correct thread path this is what will happen so I added two beads here which is correct but I have to go down the adjacent bead and then I will have to pass through the base bead and also go into the next base bead. So you got another unit here. So my mistake would have helped you to understand see if you do not pass your uh, make your right angle weave units stitch correctly you know you will never get the design or you will never get it into the shape that we want and now here I am in the last one where I will be adding just one bead here. It is a stitch which can which which can be done quickly uh, provided you you are you you know you, you practice enough and you are able to do two or three moves together at the same time so the stitch will work up quickly thank you beaders i'll see you in the next episode